Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pikminicus Plays Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode we were trying to get to this wintry climate and now as you can see I'm actually on at the next shrine. So I know what you're wondering. Uh, yeah, I used some cold resistant stuff to get up here. I cooked some more spicy things. Got up to this little place over here. So anyway, I'm gonna pause it right here so I'm gonna tell you something that happened that I remembered. I looked back on the footage and I saw that um, the old man was talking about that warm duble thing. I need to go back and talk to him so I won't have to keep eating spicy food. So I might have to do that off screen because I don't think you guys just want me to run all the way over to where the other shrine was and just talk to the old dude and then uh, do other stuff. So I'll probably do that off screen so you won't have to see it. But I will show you what the worm duplay looks like when I do get it. So anyway, without further ado, let's enter into this next shrine. Oh yeah, I gotta do Code Blue Mountain Dew. That's what I'm gonna call it now. That sounds kind of funny to me. So anyway, uh, preface this episode, what I have been doing in real life. I just got done studying uh, finals. I don't know why these things vibrate. I think it's because the door's open. But anyway, yeah, I just got done uh, finishing up my finals. I only had two papers for finals and, now I ha and then I have a final exam for math, but that'll be easy peasy rice and cheesy. I'll just study it uh, before I go into school tomorrow. And luckily, I don't have to go in early tomorrow because uh, I only have to do math because my other two classes I actually don't have to go to. So that's always nice when you don't have to go to one of your classes, except I do miss English. That was fun. There was a bunch of extroverts there, and it's pretty much like a book club, and you could pretty much just talk to anybody there. It was great. I loved it. But anyway. Back to Legend of Zelda and to the game of which I am speaking up. To you, sets for in this trial. I'm Cam. Not much in the name of the goddess of the Eli for this trial. I said that really quickly. Hopefully, you guys could understand, but you got the lettering, so you know what it said. Anywho, so anyway, Cryonesis trial, Kingdom of Shrine. So anyway, let's go ahead and get our Code Blue Mountain Dew on right here. Okay. Oh, it, well, it's not Code Blue yet. Oh, is, is it not going to do Code Blue Mountain Dew? Oh, uh, it's just uh, distilling. No, it's going to do Code Blue Mountain Dew. Cool. All right, so another shrine, another new ability that we are going to be learning today, which is great. There's actually at another shrine, um, the shrine where we learned that Time Stop ability or the Time Lord ability. I'm going to call it that because I, I don't know. I just like Doctor Who a little bit. Okay, so we got Cryonis. Create a pillar of ice from a water surface. So we become May. I guess to a certain extent. So anyway, we got rune extracted right here. Uh, people are talking in the background, so if you can hear that, uh, I can't really help it. But you know, I'm sorry, anywho. Alrighty, so we can become May essentially. So let's go ahead and try this bad puppy out. I haven't played this game in a little bit, so yep, that's the wrong button. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is that is fancy. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Um, I'll just go ahead, freeze that right there. Oh, guys. Oh my goodness, this is so cool! Look how shiny this ice is. That is, that's some nice ice you got there, boy. Oh no, oh crud, really? Okay, can I push it? That's the real question, can I push this? Please, no, you can only climb it. Um, how do, can I just cancel it? Can I cancel it? Nope, I was gonna throw that weapon for a second. I was gonna be very, ma oh, shatter, you just break it. That's awesome! Oh my goodness, this is so cool! I keep forgetting I have gyroscope controls on. Forgive me if I do make a mistake or two. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm assuming if we do create another ice pillar, uh, we will break that one. Oh, let me see here. Um, can we? Yeah, we, I don't think we can make another one. Let me check. Yeah, you can't do it. Okay, so we'll go ahead shatter that one right over there. There's nothing in this room. I Yeah, there's nothing over there that we can do just yet. Unless we can just make like a... I don't see any water things over there, so I don't think we can do anything just yet. And this is another shrine where we learn a rune. This is pretty introductory, I guess. But anyway, oh yeah, I was talking about the Time Lord Shrine, that's right. Um, one thing about that Time Lord Shrine is that I forgot to tell you guys that, uh, well, I didn't I didn't find it until I watched another play uh, playthrough of the game, that there's actually a rock you can hit, and then you can make it, um, you can actually, oh, I keep hitting the wrong button for this. You can uh, whack the rock under there and it reveals the treasure chest. There's only an ore in there, but um, I just thought I should mention that. Oh, here we go. So you just, if you press the bottom of the C-stick thing, it will just automatically put it under your feet, which is great. So now you can make a platform. Awesome. That's great. Okay, so I'm assuming we jump over this thing, maybe? I don't think we're supposed to climb down it. Oh, I know what we're supposed to do. Okay. Um, it's time to shatter this bad boy. Uh, shatter, shatter. Um, no. Oh, aim outward, then you have to toggle it off. It's a toggleable ability. Okay, so that's a gate thing. Oh, let me see here. 
Oh, I'm thinking about this the wrong way. I think I'm not thinking this correctly. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I was like, okay, you, I, don't, I don't think that ice block is that high enough to actually jump over it. Okay, that makes way more sense. Okay, let's go ahead and break that now. Okay, that makes much more sense than what I was trying to do. Hey, buddy, what's up? I haven't seen you in a little bit. What's poppin', yo? You know, a little Nintendo reference right there. Okay, so I'm gonna hit you up with these sick jukes. Hey, you're moving now. I don't like, ow! Hey, how do you put up your shield? There you go. Yeah, break the sh- No, why are you doing, Link? Link, what are you doing? I wanted you to put up the shield. There you go. Um, yeah, just block this real quick. Thank you. Ah! Ah! Okay, there we go. And now he is a dead man. Great. All right. He only he doesn't do a whole lot of stuff. Ancient Screw will go ahead and pick up his body parts. Oh, that's all he dropped? He, he didn't drop the other stuff? Oh, uh, well, we'll get it next time. Um, oh, this is just a gate to the other area. I was just making sure we didn't mess anything because I saw that uh, little this little uh, robot fence thing over here blocking the other area. So, good thing we didn't miss anything. <gasps> it's a puzzle. Look at this. Hmm. I wonder what we're supposed to do. I know. We'll go ahead and just may wall this thing right here and boop. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I was not on this thing in time. Whatever, we're still fine. We still Gucci, so we can just climb up this thing right over here. We can actually go to the other side. I don't know how that benefits us. I guess it's just giving us another choice, which is always nice. So it's not cold in here, but I still have cold resistance up, which is always a nice thing to have. I still need to go back to the old man to pick up the old resistance stuff, but that will come in a later time and date, I will say. I do not see any other chests in this room just so far, but this part right here looks like there's some other stuff. There is something. There is something over there. I know it. I can smell it. Wait. Is that? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah. I found you out, boy. You can't hide your little chests from me, kid. Yeah, I found it. Okay, give me this. Give me, let me, let me just do something real quick right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do that. I got the power of ice. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. See what we got. All right. Ooh, another spear. Sweet. Your inventory is full. Where are we going to drop? Oh, crud. Where are we going to drop off? Let me see here. What kind of trash do I have? Um, okay, I got that stuff, but that, wait. I have the pants equipped, right? Yeah, I, okay, so when it's lit up blue, that means I have that equipped. Cool. Um, we actually have a better shield, but this one, that one ain't broke yet, so if it ain't broke, you don't need to replace it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep the leaf thing because I think we need that for the cell in the last episode. I think I showed that part off, I can't remember, but anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead, uh, select this, and we're gonna drop that because we really don't need that, especially compared to a traveler spear. I do believe. So let's go ahead and grab this bad boy right over here. Great. All right. Let's go ahead and just hop right over here. And let's go ahead. Oh, the... Wait, what? Can I just make infinite... What? What? The game lied to me. I can make more than one ice block? What? What? Okay, game. Okay. I see. I see. Fine. Get it? I see. Because it's ice. I hate my life. Okay, whatever. Is there anything over there? There ha there, there, there has to be something over there. There has to be something. There, there, oh, no. Uh, uh, I don't know. There, it looks like there's something over there, but I think it's just a static. Let me see here. I gotta check this out real quick. Oh, uh, let me see. Okay, going around over here. Um, no. Now that's just a static. That, that has to be a static. Yeah, this is a static and it's purposes of dungeon design. Okay, let's go ahead and just hoppy deedly dop right over here. Oh, you know what we can do? We need to go back to the Temple of Time because this is gonna be our fourth spirit orb. We actually need to go back there. And uh, talk to that lady again. The stone statue thing. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. We already heard this from all your other buddies, you know, bud. Uh, okay. The name of the goddess of the app is Dope. I need a spirit arm. Now you're going to take it. You know what? We're actually probably going to have to talk to the old man in a full. You know what I'm saying? We're probably going to have to talk to him anywho. So anyway. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Well, it's not yet, but I'm just doing it right now. Here we go with a great piano sequence. And there we go. I want to hear it. I love that. I love that so much. I think it sounds so great. Okay, Spirit Orb. Symbol of courage given to those. Oh, we are here for that before. We've read this like a thousand million times. May the God smile upon you. Well, thanks, bud. Now we'll watch you uh, depart from this world in a really painful way. Oh, you know what? I noticed something about the, uh, the little uh, monk dudes. One has a triangle up here. One has a triangle down here. One has a triangle over here. And one has a triangle over here. See? Your boy be catching on to those things. He knows what he knows what's up around town, you know? You know? Oh great. Okay, so really quick, like we are gonna have to fast travel. Um oh, do we unlock something? Yeah, old man, can you fetch me your warm dublay? That would be absolutely great. 
With this, you have now acquired all the spirit orbs of the shrines on this plateau. Oh, extraordinary! That means it's finally time for me to get the power collider. It's finally time for me to tell you everything. But first, <coughs> okay, give me the paraglider, boy. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines at the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Can I get your warm duplay, please? Do you understand where the two lines connect and the shrines will cross there? I will be waiting. All right, bud. I'm just gonna freeze to death real quick. Nothing bad here. Um, we're gonna go ahead. I need to, uh, we need to actually open up the map. The map, get the map, hit the map before we dive. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do, so we discover this shrine. So, we're gonna fast travel to, um, if we do, uh, that's the shrine of resurrection. That was the shrine that we were at, um, this was the, this was the shrine that we were at, uh, a little while before. This was, I think this was on the mountainside. Um, we don't need to go to this one, and I don't think we need to go to this one. This is the uh, Great Plateau. So, he said something about where the shrines intersect. Let me go ahead and read that part again. I can't remember which one he said. After you acquire the spirit orbs from the shrines, the old man told you that you, you, that he'll be waiting in the place centered amid the four shrines before, before mis mysteriously disappearing. Okay. So, I think that is actually at the Temple of Time because it, I just think it would be around in that location. But we are going to fast travel there because I don't want to die of, you know, freezing to death because that doesn't sound great. Yeah, because the Temple of Time should be, wait, no, this is the, um, this is actually, this is the Shrine of Resurrection. This is the Temple of Time. I want to travel there. I wish I could fast travel there, but we're going to go ahead do a, just as much as we can. We're going to just go ahead and travel here real quick, lack. All right. Blubbity doop. I think this is actually the mountainside because um, it looks like it's on mountains. That's that's good thinking right there, man. You, I'm so aren't you glad that your boy has that high class thinking right there? Oh my goodness, I can't believe I said that. That was kind of dumb, but hey, whatever. Uh, next tip. Next tip. I don't care, buddy. I I don't I don't I don't like it. I don't care. All right. Moving on, uh, yes, this is on the mountainside. Hey, we can do the Doctor Who thing. Let's go ahead and do that real quick before we do anything else. Alrighty here. Um, let's go ahead, uh, let's go just ignite the sea stick thing. Alright, it's kind of hard for me to actually toggle this thing because I just gotta get used to the analog stick being on the bottom. I'm used to the Wii U Pro Controller with the analog stick being above. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead, use our Time, uh, Time Lord ability, and let's go ahead and activate this bad boy right over here. We're gonna stop time, and then we're gonna whack it with our sword, try to get it out of here. Um, yep, that looks like it's gonna be pretty good, and now it should launch itself off at an angle, rendering itself useless. Here we go. Great. All right. Bye, Mr. Boulder. Have a great day. All right, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. All right, great. A bow. I thought it was actually something else, but anyway, we got bow, which is better than our stinking boko bow, which is good. Um, so let's go ahead, climb down this mountain, and uh, maybe he'll be here. I doubt he will be, because Nintendo's usually pretty smart about not doing that. But still, we uh, don't have our paraglider, so I don't think it would be that wise into, um, you know, just jumping off with reckless abandon. I wish there was, like, some kind of slope we could go off of, but this all looks like a cliffside. And I don't want to just, uh, I don't want to just shield sled off of nothing, you know? Um, I see there's, like, a little slope right there. But, yeah, we're gonna go over to the Temple of Time, because that's where I think he's at. Um, oh crud, the trees regenerated too! My word! It's deja vu all over again! Okay, we're just gonna go shimmy down real nice like, okay? This is very exciting, we have done this before. And you know what we've also done before? Sped up the footage! So, yep, I'm gonna speed up the footage right now. So anyway, see y'all when I'm at the bottom of the mountain. Uh-oh! Uh, use fast travel. Hmm. 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 Nice. That's what I wanted. <laughs> that was swell. Welp. That's that's good. That's great. No! No, you idiot! No! Oh! Oh, you dumb guan. Ah! Uh, I don't want you to do that! I didn't have to do that! Why do you want you to? 
Okay? This is, this we're falling right now. Just falling around at the speed of sound. This is exciting now, boys. All right, guys, I finally made it down safely. So now, um, now we get to find a way to get over there. Uh, over the, uh, unimpending gap of what it seems like doom itself. So, uh, um, I guess we're gonna shimmy. Hey, we can use our bomb ability on that wall. That's actually really good. Okay, let's go ahead and do this thing. I don't even know if we're gonna make it, but let's find out. Okay, Link. It's a little bit of waste, but I believe you can do it. I really believe in hope, because if you don't, you're gonna die, so, um, yeah. I would not do this in real life. I don't think many people would. <laughs> Just saying, but you're a Link, so you have- you get to do it, buddy! Yep, I'm so- yep, yeah, I think you're gonna make it, though, so that's good, because we haven't even depleted half of our stand of bar, and you're doing just Gucci. So we should be okay. If you cannot cross this, I'm gonna be very mad at you, though. Yes, okay, you can do it. Great. Yes! We can actually do it! We can do the shimmy jimmy! We can do the shimmy jimmy! Alright, if you just randomly fall off and jump off that thing, I'm gonna be so mad. I gotta throw this Joy-Con control at my TV. I don't really... I don't get that mad. Don't worry, guys. I used to get so salty when playing Super Smash Brothers with friends. I used to send them text... my friends' text messages and stuff of me being really salty. And they thought it was funny, which was good. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't take it badly. I used to get so salty. But then I found, and then I finally let go of my pride, and then I'm just like, you know what? I'm not the best Smash Bros. player ever. And this was a long time ago. This is not like right now, because I've overcome that saltiness for a long time. But yeah, um, I used to get so salty when playing Super Smash Bros. I just don't know why. I just had like, I just thought I was really good at the game, I guess. And then I was just like, I'm, I'm gonna get mad every time when someone beats me. But anyway, yeah, don't do that anymore. And we're fine. And we got this treasure chest. Let's go ahead, pop this bad boy right up. I'm, I'm gonna pick up those shrimps, don't worry. Uh, bomb arrows? That's pretty dope. Let's go ahead, grab those. I guess you could say they're the bomb. <laughs> ha! Got them! Okay, so anyway, we got the Staminella shroom, which we could cook, but I don't see anything to cook with over here. Oh, that's a boko bow. That's a piece of trash, mate. Okay, let's go ahead. Keep running over here. Um, we could get the rush room. So, oh, yeah. Another thing I wanted to talk about. You can cook these things and put them in, uh... You can put them in, uh, the... Your cooking things. And you can actually, actually... You can actually, actually... Great grammar and just... Just wordsmithing right here. Not wordsmithing. Just phrasing out my sentences. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, what I meant to say was, uh... You can actually cook rush rooms in a, uh in a mail to actually give you speed boost. I did not do that correctly last time, and I am sorry to, uh, yeah. So I just, because I just ate them straight instead of actually cooking them. So that would have obviously have wielded some problems. So let's go ahead, just keep hopping over here. We're gonna just smash the B button. Alrighty, temple of time, and I'm just gonna come around right over here. Please say that thing is not gonna wake up because I'd be very happy if it didn't. I don't think it's the uh, tower thing that's in the middle. I'm pretty sure it has to be this thing, right? I mean, it's pretty close in the center of things, so I'm gonna assume it is this thing right over here. So I'm just gonna keep, you know, strutting my stuff. Alright, um, is there a Bacoban game gang over here? There's only one, dude. I think we're fine. Alright, so let's go ahead. Hop over here. Oh, this thing is shiny. It knows what I'm gonna get. Uh, hey. Yeah, give me your stuff, man. You have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. In exchange for a spool four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what is that you desire? What? I can get a heart container or stamina vessel. Wow, I can choose. Oh, man. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I just want me some more health. <laughs> you wish for a heart container, yes? Yes, give me that heart container, boy. I shall grant you the power you seek. Thank you so much, buddy. Alrighty. Yay! So I wonder if you can have, like, alternate builds. Like, just have, like, full-blown stanima and full-blown heart containers. I wonder if you can do that. That'd be awesome. Uh, or if you can do that. I'm pretty sure... I, I'm not sure if you can, if you have that kind of flexibility or not. But anyway, we're going to just go ahead with the heart container right over here. Your life force has been strengthened, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. So that is absolutely fantastic. So now we won't have to get knocked out by everything. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. So I guess uh, the um, spirit orbs are kind of like a thing of currency. Oh, is that the old guy? 
Old guy! I guess I was supposed to go here. That's good. Wait, yep. The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here quickly. Really, dude? I, get to, I gotta climb up there. That's why there's a ladder. Okay, buddy. Whatever, dude. I'm gonna get up there. Just hold your horses. Don't get your panties in an uproar. Whatever. Panties in a wild. However that single sign goes. Okay. Climb this ladder, Link. Oh, my goodness. This thing is... This thing, if I had to climb a ladder this high, I think it'd give me vertigo or something. This thing looks just, this would be so scary for me. All right, we're gonna just climb up here real quick, like. All right, okay, okay, we're gonna climb up right here real quick. Okay, yeah, I'll just climb up here. Okay, okay, use them calf muscle, muscles. Okay, here we go. <gasps> I didn't notice this part. Wow, that's shiny. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead. Just run right over here. I got no fear, boys. Hopefully, I don't die. Okay, we didn't die. That's good. <gasps> a chest! I would really like to know what's inside the chest. Oh, well, thanks, cutscene. Never mind. All right. Well done there, young one. <gasps> Voice acting! Voice acting! Holy cow! The time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. That's pretty dope. I was the last leader of Hyrule. Aw. Kingdom which no longer exists. Sad, sad times are many of these. Whoa! Old man is now. Now he's actually like the King Odin. Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Plot! Oh my goodness. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. Mm, fair the Demon enough. King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. Nice painting. But there was also a prophecy. Kind of saw that one coming. Just a little bit. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. A master Sword? We decided to wait, heed wait. the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. I mean, those are pretty good keepsakes, I'm telling you what. Let's find a time capsule. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the guard. That sounds really cool. An army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. That's actually really cool. I like robots. That's pretty dope, Nintendo. We also learned of a princess with a sacred like power it. and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. Zelda? who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. I think it's Zelda. Or is that... Years ago, yeah, that's Zelda. princess set to inherit a sacred power. That's Zelda. And a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. It's Zelda. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. That sounds pretty epic. Oh, that's a Goron! We dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. That's pretty dope. I like the Goron, the princess, dude. How is that going? And the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Nay! <laughs> and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Uh oh. Oh. 
So he's controlling the guardians. Oh. The champions lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. Man, I like the big Goron dude. Man. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by calamity. So, calamity Ganon just infected a bunch of pe uh, the However, machines. That's Zelda. The princess survived. It's Zelda. To face Ganon. That's pretty awesome. She's she's got some courage right there, I think. Uh -oh. Is that like Star Wars? Ooh, that was kind of cool. She was gonna force slam him. She was gonna be like, "Oh, I got the power! You got the power! You got the okay." My dear Zelda. Hey, I knew it. <laughs> That's kind of obvious, but you know whatever. Who protected her right up to the very end? That night was none other than you, Link. <gasps> dun, dun, dun! When your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. Man, he had a... Words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now. As she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. This is really cool. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. That's probably not a good thing. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has really maintained cool. control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest... That you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. That's a pretty there popular hotspot. She will tell you more. Gosh, I heard her. Lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. He's hooking me up with that cold blue mountain dew. Twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Go on. Here's a paraglider, just as I promised. I'm going to have to try to make it his actual voice now. That was a really cool cutscene. I'm not going to lie. Voice acting. We got the paraglider. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and recap the story, and then I'll end off the episode. So, basically, Ganon uh, kind of inhabit, like, possessed all of the robots, the divine beasts, and then the guardian things, which is the... Uh, the spider guys with the um, eyeball thing that was actually trying to shoot me at that other temple. You can actually see it on screen to the right with the little blue shrine right over there. But yeah. Man. That was awesome. Then Link, I guess Link actually lost in this timeline, technically. Wow, another thing to add to the chart. Holy cow. But anyway, let's go ahead and finish this line of text here. With that, you should be able to safely fly across cliffs, up, fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. That is fantastic. And I think that's it. Can I get your warm Dublay? I told you everything I can. Can I get your warm Dublay? Link, you must save Hyrule. Can I save my game? <sighs> Link. Okay, that was really that was really horrible. But anyway, destroy Ganon. New objective. That's that's a pretty good objective, I might say. Seek out Impa. New objective. That's actually the thing I'm supposed to do first, but that's okay. But anyway, that will be it for this episode. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy the video, why don't you hit that like button? Comment down below your thoughts and feelings about this video, and I will see you guys in the next episode. God bless and goodbye.